Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and today we've got a very lovely 2013 Bourgeois for you. This is actually one of their sloped dreadnoughts. So, dreadnought, but with the kind of reduced hips and sloped, more like an OM. Um, now this one actually features a really lovely slightly bear clawed german spruce top but the grain on it is really really tight throughout it um, and as you flip it over look at this just picture perfect madagascan i mean you don't really see a whole lot of perfectly straight madagascan like this anymore now this is the db signature so it's got that db signature back strip down the uh, the center seam here. And also it's got the highly figured koa all the way around the box and also down the side of the fretboard. Um, also, they went ahead and did a Madagascan, like a deep red Madagascan rosette, simple rosette ring here. Um, it's got an ebony bridge. It's wide spec, so it's two and five sixteenths here at the bridge and one and three quarter here at the nut width, which is kind of uncharacteristic for a flat picking guitar. But this is, to me, is a much more versatile sounding dreadnought. It, it's able to do kind of both, but we'll get into that. Now it's got a plain ebony fretboard with just a nice, real simple white purfling on the whole face bordering the, the profile of it. Um, and then mother of pearl dots inside of this highly figured flamed koa. Now it is a mahogany neck. Um, and to my surprise, it doesn't have a very hard V like I'm used to feeling on a lot of the bourgeois. It's, it's a very subtle V about up to the, the fifth fret and then a nice even C the rest of the way up. So. It's actually a little more comfortable for me to play. Uh, I don't really like the V-necks because my thumb slides around too much, but I didn't have that problem with this. Um, so it's it's very comfortable. Now it does have the, the Diamondback Volute. And as you flip it over, you can see that they've got the all gold Waverly's here, but with snake wood buttons on it. R really, really elegant touch. Now the head cap is also a Madagascan rosewood head cap with their signature bourgeois logo there and mother of pearl. But also it's got a nice little ebony and maple border for the purfling all the way around the face. But who cares about what it looks like? Other than the fact that it's a 2013 and it looks brand new. We actually had a debate about whether or not this was a newer guitar. The case said 2013, but we all looked at it and said, there's no way. So we looked up the serial number and yes way it is, but it shows in the tone. This thing just roars. It's got personality. It's got mojo. It's got everything you want out of a nice seasoned guitar. Um, the German spruce provides a lot of warmth to those trebles. But it's interesting how broken in this is. It creates these lovely overtones. Now, like I said, it could be a flat picking guitar if you want. Um, or for me, I actually really enjoy doing finger style on it. Now, like with all bourgeois, their setup is just perfect. It's actually really low, but I couldn't find any, any areas where even up the neck, it just seems like the notes are nice and punchy they don't sacrifice any headroom even though it's nice and low so 
If you got any other further questions about this really special age bourgeois, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening.